what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. I am live on Facebook. I am live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? What's up, Facebook? If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread and you're an actor, oh my gosh, you're welcome. <laughs> You're in for a great treat. This is episode 179, which means, yes, there are 178 episodes that you can catch up on and binge. Um, today, I'm talking about when you're not getting in the room, when you're not getting in the room. So if that resonates with you or if you've ever said, I just, I would I would be booking more if I could just get in the room. I'm not getting in the room. My team's not getting me in the room, right? Something must be wrong. I'm not getting in the room. Just hang tight. I got you. The reason why I've been going live every single day for the past <laughs> 17 or so days is because I'm gearing up to teach a full day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in Atlanta, Georgia on Saturday, April 24th at the Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta. You don't have to live in Atlanta to go. You can get on a bus, you can take a train, you can take a plane, you can drive, okay? <laughs> so come on. Details are in the link above or below. Instagram, the link is in my bio. Excuse me. So the event is called Level Up to Stardom. Learn the business of acting and how to audition like a pro. And that's why it's all day, because I have a lot to teach you. Um, so in honor of that, we've been going live every day with Actors Daily Bread. So let's get into it, because I know it's Saturday. I just got in. I had a lovely full day at the library. <laughs> it's my favorite place to work outside of my beautiful sanctuary here, my headquarters in a, in, when I'm at home. But sometimes I just need to change of pace. So I did a good four hours at the library today in preparation for the event. So let's get into it. Have you ever heard yourself say, I'm just not getting in the room. I would book if I could get in the room. Something must be wrong. My team, maybe I need a new agent. Maybe I need a new manager. <laughs> They're not getting me in. They're not getting me in the room. I would kill if I could just get in the room. So I want to approach this from two perspectives today. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to censor myself. When do I ever censor myself? Um, I just want y'all to notice when we started these lives two weeks ago, I had hair and makeup. And as you can see, it's Saturday and we got bandana and Vaseline. So just so you see where we're going. I'll, I'll bring it back up, but just so you're aware. We're, we're friends now. We're, 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 we're close. <laughs> Listen to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So here we go. When you find yourself saying, I'm just, I'm not getting in the room. I'm not getting in the room. And then you question the next thing that happens. And I'm, I'm bringing this up because this has come up recently with some clients. Hey, Facebook, make sure you say hi. Um, um, Instagram, you can say hi too. <laughs> um, so that way, you guys, it feels like you're talking to yourself when you're doing these lives. So I really would, you know, a hello just goes a long way. Um, and it gets me to talk longer. When you find yourself saying that, I've heard it from advanced actors this week. I've heard it from brand Nubians, what I call my brand Nubian actors. What's up, brand Nubians, right? So there's two, there's a two-tier response to this. Hey, Saikon. Um, there's my brand new actors who are just like, I'm not getting in the room because I'm brand new. And then we have the the seasoned actor, which and I said when I say seasons, I mean you have rep, you've been having rep, you've done some shows, you're not looking for your first co-star, you probably look working on your uh, recurring guest star series regular kind of thing. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Glaze. Right? So it's two tier. I always say this, and Sabrina, you know, I just said this to you. We talked about this recently. Your agent gets 10% of what you make. 90% goes to you. If you're like me and have an agent and a manager, I'm giving out 20%. Still, 80% goes to me. So who do you think should be doing 80% of the job? I know you're like, but I have a team. They should be doing that. I should be at a point where my team handles it all. Now, yes, a good team is going to pitch you. They're going to pick up the phone. They're going to like highlight all the stuff that you've done. Yes. But there's a disconnect because when you're not getting in the room 
and this goes for my adults, for my kids, I, I, the easy thing to say is what are they doing wrong? Why aren't they getting me in the room? Versus looking at yourself and being like, why am I not? Whoa, what happened to my screen? Yo, my Facebook screen just did something crazy. It like made the message. Marilee, you just joined and the whole message box came up. Can you comment on Facebook? Okay, okay, went back. Ooh, I think it's something with my map. <laughs> Instagram, there's like a ghost of my computer. Retrograde is supposed to be over. I'm just gonna keep going um, because I don't know what's happening on Facebook. Hopefully you can still see me. But the first thing I ask, my, ask myself is what do I need to do? So I had the conversation with an, an experienced actor the other day and they were like, I just figured that I was past that. I shouldn't have to do that anymore because I've had X amount of gigs or I've been on X amount of shows. And my response was when I'm, even though I work a ton, if you check my IMDb, you got lots of credits, right? But there's still so many offices here in this town and not just in LA, in New York. You know, like there are hundreds of casting offices that have no idea who I am or I'm not on their go-to short list. So some of you have been booked, have been pinned, called back by the same offices. So they're, I don't know what's happening on Facebook. Um, so you already have them as fans, but don't confuse the people who are already fans of yours with doing enough work. When I'm not getting in the room, and there's certainly some offices here in LA that I'm like, why? Because I asked the question, why am I not getting called in by them? And then you know how I rephrase that? So here's how we shift the paradigm. I say, who needs to know Christine Horn? And I know that sounds like, that may sound extra like cocky to you. It doesn't to me. It's like, who doesn't know me? And why don't they know me? Now, my team might be hitting the little button on, Act, on Breakdowns Express. They may even be picking up the phone. But what is missing is my outreach. How can I get on their radar? See, marketing is just not for the brand newbie and actor. It's not. It's for all of us. See, some of y'all, you see celebrities and you see people who are working more than you, and you just see them and be like, and you think they're not having to do anything at all. Why do you think people have publicists? Thank you, Marilee. My screen is doing something so crazy. It just is making my screen go big and small. So I'm not worried about it. I, as long as you guys can see me, but I can't look at your comments on Facebook, unfortunately, because the computer's on acting crazy. But why do you think celebrities and why, do, and not just celebrities, I mean, anybody who can afford it. I have a publicist, not like a $3,000 a month one, but I have one for other things. So it just shows up differently. So you're at home thinking, why am I not getting in the room? What is my team not doing? And then when I say, why don't you market yourself? Well, how, this is, I usually ask, how are you marketing yourself? And then the response is, I mean, I send out postcards every now and then, or I mean, and then it just gets quiet and it'd be crickets. And that is the issue right there. And I talked about this, shout out to Erica Wernick with the Hollywood Success Podcast. We had a juicy podcast interview. If you didn't hear it, go subscribe to the Hollywood Success Podcast. It was an amazing interview. Erica asked me some really great questions. And something I mentioned was, imagine the work that your team is already doing for you. Imagine if you at least met them halfway. And what would it look like? How would it impact your career and your life if you were to actually put in half the effort you expect your team to put, on, put in for you? I dare you to be the manager, the agent that you wish you had. So instead of sitting and wait, doing the hope, wait, I get discovered uh, uh, plan, which is not a plan, you could take some action. I am just not a fan of waiting and hoping. I can pray all day, but if I'm not taking action, how do I expect anything to change? So it's clear, the offices that you're not getting into, the shows that you wanna be on, the movies that you wanna be in, it's up to you to do your research and decide who needs to know you. So I dare you to go into this next week and look at the offices that you have never been in or only went in once or TV shows or movies that you desire to do. Do that research of who's casting them 
and then make a plan to reach out. This is the stuff I teach in my Booking Magnet Academy. This is the stuff I'm certainly excited to teach in Atlanta at the Bronze Lens Film Festival. Every single person who attends is going to walk away with a 12-month plan of what they're marketing with. And I'm excited about that. It doesn't have to be deep, but you got to start doing something. It's so easy to point the finger. And so that's for all of you, but especially for my seasoned actors, those of you who are not brand new trying to get that first co-star, it still matters. I'm on your TV all the time and I still do it. Any of my students here in the thread can attest. I just shared something that I was marketing with the other day. This, I mean, I'm not a household name. And even if I was, my marketing is just going to look different. It's going to look, it's going to look different with press. You're going to see me on more talk shows. You're going to see me in more magazines, more articles. All that is marketing. I'm just going to be paying a whole lot more for it. <laughs> so how about we enjoy like this cheap level right here where it's affordable and you have access to FedEx, Kinko's, envelopes, stamps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You don't have to pay for those. <laughs> so I just wanted to just put that bug in your ear. If you've heard yourself say, and listen, if you're being honest, we've all said it. I'm not getting in the room. I'm not getting in the room. So, <laughs> I mean, for me, there's some offices I have not, there's no, why have I not been on Grey's Anatomy? I just don't even understand that. I just don't even get it. And that's what I ask myself. And so I reverse engineer. Well, how many times have you been into Linda Lowey's office? How many people in Linda Lowey know you? Does John Brace really know you? I've only been there twice and it was back to back, two days back to back. And that was a year and a half ago. And they've never called me back in since. That's going to change. And you can mark my words. Today is Saturday, August 10th, 2019. Mark my words. See, I like to show y'all. I, I, I like to lead by example. I'm not too proud and I'm not too big and high and mighty to not still make myself be relevant and to introduce myself in a genuine way. So you mark my words today. Give me, give me four months. And the next time I get an appointment, I'm declaring it to the world now. So you can do, you can join me in this. Let me know in the comments if you come back and watch this video later. Give me four months and I'm gonna get in that office again. I promise as soon as I have another audition for them, as soon as I get called in, I will post it. I won't post what it's for, but I'll show you some proof that it happened. I haven't seen them in over, it's been over a year and a half. So mark my words, the same can happen for you. Now you can continue to watch me win or we can win together because I'm being so transparent with you. So let me know in the comments, hashtag win, if you're going to take some initiative in your career next week. Hashtag win, Facebook. If only I could see your comments. <laughs> Facebook ghost is on my computer, so Facebook, I'll have to respond to your comments later. I can't even end the live video. Like, I don't even know how to end the video on Facebook. It got that big. Hey, Reggie, hashtag win. Yes, thank you. All right, I'm going to go. Facebook, it might be a little wonky because I don't know how to end. But Instagram, I'm going to say goodnight. Listen, let's get rid of the hope and wait plan. That's played out. And I don't care if you're brand new. And I don't care if you, if you already got a series regular role. The grind doesn't stop, guys. The grind only changes. So see, when you start getting those bigger, bigger roles, you better start saving every paycheck to pay for a publicist who costs about $1,200 to $3,000 a month because that's how the game changes. It's not enough for you to send little love notes and things to the mail. No, you need next level representation. So get used to it. If you get in the habit of it now, it won't feel so foreign and shocking to your system as it grows, right? Have an amazing Saturday night. Get some rest. I'm going to do a little woosa, do a, listen to some audio books while I, I can't help. I'm always working. Um, but I'm going to take a little woosa. We just had dinner. Just, I just took Prince to the park, which is why I got my 
a bandana on. Um, so yeah, have an amazing night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I'm gonna say bye to Instagram first tonight, and we're gonna see what happens on Facebook. But all right, Facebook. Let's see if I can end this video. Thanks for hanging with me. Sorry, I couldn't see your comments. My computer's legit acting a fool. Let's see. I might just have to close the computer. That is so weird. I have no idea. Maybe I'll open a new tab. This video is done, guys. I'm just literally trying to figure out. Maybe I'll just close Facebook. I'm just going to close Facebook. Bye.